Hello grade 9 learners, I am teacher Badeth. For this episode, we are going to conquer the world of parallelograms. So we are going to determine the conditions that make a quadrilateral a parallelogram. So what is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. It has four sides four angles, and four vertices. A quadrilateral can be regular or irregular. And the sum of all the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 3,600. I have here illustration of quadrilaterals. One is the tiles. Second, the windows. Third, the top of the table. Now, it is your turn to look around you and find objects that is quadrilateral in shape. So basically, quadrilaterals are divided into two, trapezoids and parallelograms. For this episode again, we are going to conquer the world of parallelograms. So what is parallelogram? It is a flat shape with four straight sides where opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides and opposite angles are congruent. So take a look at this picture. We have quadrilateral A, B, C, D. A, B, is parallel to DC and also congruent. Line segment AD is parallel to line segment BC and they are also congruent. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Let us now move on to the types of pa parallelogram. We have rhombus, rectangle, and square. Let us first discuss rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram in which all sides are congruent. So we have here parallelogram A, B, C, D. Line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC, is also congruent to line segment CD, and also congruent to line segment DA. Therefore, parallelogram ABCD is a rhombus. Now, let's move on to rectangle. It is a parallelogram with two parallel sides congruent, and all angles are right angles and diagonals are equal. Remember that the measurement of right angle or right angle is exactly 90 degrees. So we have here quadrilateral E, M, N, O. Line segment MN is parallel to line segment PO and line segment MP is parallel to line segment NO. All angles are right angles. Angle P, angle M, angle N, and angle O are right angles. And the diagonals Line segment PN and line segment OM are congruent. Therefore, parallelogram PMNO is a rectangle. Now, let us move on to square. It is a parallelogram with all sides equal and all angles equal to 90 degrees. Let us go back to rhombus. Rhombus is a parallelogram with all 
sides equal. Then, rectangle is a parallelogram with all angles equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, square is a special parallelogram that is a combination of a rhombus and a rectangle. Again, the diagonals of a square are also equal because the property of a rectangle that the diagonals are equal. Let us go back to the types of parallelogram. Number one, we have rhombus. Number two, rectangle. And number three, square. Let us now move on to the conditions that guarantee that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Number one condition, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of consecutive angles are supplementary. Fourth, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if the diagonals bisect each other. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if each diagonal divides a parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So let us now move on to the first condition that guarantee that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. Example, we have here quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So line segment A, B is congruent to line segment DC. Line segment AD is congruent to line segment BC. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Next condition. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. We have here Quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Angle A is congruent to its opposite, which is angle C. Angle B is also congruent to angle D. Therefore, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Third condition, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of consecutive angles are supplementary. So we have here quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So the measurement of angle A plus the measurement of angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Next, the measurement of angle B plus the measurement of angle C is 180 degrees. The measurement of angle C plus the measurement of angle D is also 180 degrees. The measurement of angle D plus the measurement of angle A is also equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Fourth condition. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if the diagonals bisect each other. We have here quadrilateral A, B, C, D. If line segment AM is congruent to line segment CM and line segment BM is congruent to line segment TM, then quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Last condition, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if each diagonal divides a parallelogram 
into two congruent triangles. We have here quadrilateral DCDA. Consider the triangles ABC and ACD. Since the line segments AB, this one, and CD are parallel to each other, and AC is transversal, angle ACD is equal to angle CAD. We have its common side, which is AC. Angle CAD is equal to angle ACD. That is, by angle side angle criterion of congruence. We have then, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ACD. Therefore, quadrilateral DCDA is a parallelogram. Let us now go back to the conditions that guarantee that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. First, and second, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite sides and opposite angles are congruent. Third, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of consecutive angles are supplementary. Fourth, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if the diagonals bisect each other. And the last one, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if each diagonal divides a parallelogram into two congruent triangles. That is all for this episode. Thank you for watching.